We met probably around a year ago while I was developing that boxing machine. I came out the back a couple of times and saw him and just asked him what was going on. And I was just saying to him, you know, who's holding pads for who's doing your stuff? And Mark's been doing his own thing a bit. It's very hard for him to find a trainer here and then he's going away, you know, so there's a bit of a, and unless a trainer can travel with him. So I said to Mark, you know, while I'm here, um, I train down here three, four times a week. So if I can get down here at the back two, three times a week, I'm happy to give him a hand, you know. And I think the trick is Mark's learnt how to sort of, his own sort of way to move out of the way of punches. I think the most important thing is you don't sort of, don't try and, you know, implement your, your complete sort of thing on a guy who's already sort of proven himself. If someone, you know, and everyone needs help in, in the ring. You know, no one, when I travelled to New York when I was 29, I felt like an absolute brand new amateur. And then you get used to it. So I just sort of said to Mark, you know, I'll show you some of the stuff that, that I've been taught from my father, which has been proven for many years. My dad's been a trainer for four years. Um, you can take what you want, and if I can do that, you know, um, at least when he gets there, he's got a good sort of uh, a good start. Yeah, and I, you know, I stayed in the game. I used, tried to use boxing as a vehicle, you know, for the rest of my life. I, I sort of thought, well, this is my trade, and I'm going to run with it. So basically, I used boxing as a vehicle to make a film. The film was sort of like loosely based on on my, my younger life, you know, with my dad. It's basically a story about a father and son and um, you know, about a man running from his past, trying to live his life through his kid, and about a kid trying to do the right thing by his dad, but also live his own life, so that was roughly. And they add things and take things out, you know. So he was about 10 times harder than that on me. My dad uh, come down here the second day, and, you know, my old man's an old character. I told my dad, uh, he thinks he invented boxing, but, uh, but no, he even said, you know, Mark's got a lot of potential, and he has. Big hitter, you know, both hands. Um, and, you know, it's so one of those sports, mate, you just never know. If you dedicate yourself and you're passionate about it, you never know what you're going to achieve. Knocks like a veteran, knocks a scam to 